Welcome to my latest bad report. This time we're going big, 3,000 points worth of big, and we're also going with knights, which are also big. Imperial Knights versus Chaos Knights. Before we begin, I just want to talk a little bit about knights because I think playing with knights is incredibly fun. Big, massive murder bots of doom smashing against each other. Incredibly good fun. However, in 10th edition, you've got the secondary mission deck as well. And running off and doing actions such as containment or sabotaging things with your big stompy robots of doom isn't as fun as just throwing them at each other and trying to outscore, trying to outposition, trying to outmaneuver the enemy war engines. I'm not saying that playing from this deck isn't fun. It can be fun, but ignoring the deck completely can be funner. Just letting knights cook. So in this mission, we're going to let the knights cook. We've got a custom scenario with five objectives down on the battle grid, and each of these objectives is worth D3 points at the end of the game. Because they're D3 points each, we won't necessarily know who wins until the very end of turn five, which means the knights can cook all the way until turn five. Some of these objectives might only be worth one point, some of these objectives might be worth three points. And the battle mat is from urbanmats.com. And someone asked in the comment section previously that where do you get your tokens from? These lovely tokens are from marchofwar.co.uk. And we're doing this, uh, we're deploying 12 inches back from this diagonal deployment here. And we don't know who's deploying on what side yet, whether Chaos Knights are here or Imperial Knights are there, but janky deployment, lots of line of sight, large blocking terrain all over the place. And knights are going to be chasing each other around these big rocky spires. It's going to be fun. And we welcome back to the channel, the king of the badgers, Badger King. Say hi, Badger King. Hi, Badger King. Why knights? Um, knights are beautiful, aren't they? I got that in ninth edition. They did that box set, which came with one and the two war dogs, the, the chaos one, a beautiful box set. And then my wife bought me another one because there was a whole confusion about whether I should have bought it or not. Right. And then. I bought more knights because they're pretty and fun and choppy and yeah, who doesn't love knights? Dude, you're absolutely right. One knight is never enough. Once you've popped, you can't stop. So here is 2,980 points worth of Imperial Knights. Five big uns, five little uns, Knights of the Code Chivalric. And according to the latest balance data slate, that means they can re-roll a hit and a wound every time they're called upon to shoot and fight. They also have a six up feel no pain. And if I kill the enemy warlord, that goes up to a five up feel no pain. And that's pretty obnoxious. Feel no pains on Imperial Knights means that they can be a bit more resilient than the old Chaos Knights that we're going to be fighting up against. And in the force in front of you, I've got four Armager Warglaives with Melters and Choppy Stuff and one Helverin over here. And then we have a Crusader, a Paladin, an Errant, a Valiant and a Knight Lancer. There's also Bondsman abilities, so if the little baby knights are within 12 inches of a big knight in the command phase, the big knight can tell the baby knight to do something. So for example, the Knight Lancer can tell one of the baby knights to advance and charge, and the Knight Crusader can tell one of the baby knights to shoot better, to hit on twos, instead of uh, hitting on threes. So the idea here is that Helvrin will hang out with the Crusader, providing some backfield DACA. I'll have a couple of Wargate Glaives hanging out with the Knight Lancer for the uh, advance and charge shenanigans, and a couple of Wargate running around the outside being a pain. Um, we've got Reaper Chainsword and Reaper Chainsword on the Paladin and on the Errant. And the Errant, if it's shooting the closest thing, will be hit on twos instead of hitting on threes. It gets plus one to hit. They've all got, all got abilities, such as if the Crusader stays still, he gets sustained hits on all of the shots. Everything here has got a five up in vulnerable save to shooting because of the uh, shields. But the Knight Lancer has a flat four up in vulnerable save and a lot of wounds. And it moves a long way. It's particularly nasty. And a free tank shock which isn't as obnoxious as it used to be with 20 plus dice because tank shock now you do it versus toughness rather than the strength of the weapon and its toughness is 12 so 12 dice three tank shock very nice four up and vulnerable save very good uh, i did pay for one enhancement and the knight valiant has mysterious guardian which means he's a rippling with dark age technology teleportation stuff and things once per battle 
the end of my opponent's movement phase, I can pick him up and then deep strike him back in again. Um, the idea is if he deep strikes back in again, then the thunder coil harpoon and all the melters suddenly get in range and do some work. But he's also the slowest knight in this force because he only moves eight. So the ability to pick up and redeploy to get away from something charging down towards him is probably going to be more useful using it defensively rather than offensive. He moves eight, big knights move 10, baby knights move 12, knight lancer moves 14. Plenty of speed, plenty of punch. And these are the knights of the penitent forge. The knights of the forge led by the Baron himself. Let's check out the Chaos Knights. And this is 2,900 points of Chaos Knights. It's like 100 points down. Yeah, I couldn't fit any more in and give any more enhancements. It's hard, isn't it, when they're like 150 points and 140 points for the little ones. I love what you've done here, because we've got some Zinchi ones. Zinchi ones. We've got some Corny ones. And we've got Slam Neshi ones. Indeed. Um, know which ones I want to stay away from. The Slaneshi ones mainly. I mean, blood for the blood god. Who is the blood for? And Zinch. I mean, I like Space Marine too, and they're in it. So, yeah, Chaos Knights. Talk about Chaos Knights. What are they doing things? So we have Harbingers of Dread, which is our army-wide rule. Yes. Which from uh, you always will add one to a battle shock test if you're in twelve with me from turn one. Right. Turn three, if you're battle shocked. Um, I get to add one to the wound roll. You have to minus one from your hit rolls. If I'm within 12 and things from 12, 20 battle shots. Nice. So how do you force battle shocks? So the all of the knights with this, this detachment, yes. they get... Um, forged in terror? Yeah, forged in terror. So basically you have to... If you've taken any damage, so yes. even a wound, yes. you have to take a battle shock test if you're within 12 of my knights. Cool. So you want to get close to do the battle shock thing, but you don't want to be too close until turn three, because then plus one to wound versus knights is really strong, really strong. That's such a tough thing. And minus one to, for me to hit is also... Considering some of yours are hitting on twos on the yeah. big guns and such like that will make a big difference. Nice, okay. And what have we brought today? So my warlord is the false king, who's a knight abominant class. The uh, false king. Uh, mixed in melee and shooty. Right. Um, he gets in close and can do warp storms at the end of his movement phase, which give if a, I think it's a, uh, on a three up or a four up, it makes you do D three more wounds. Yep, which is quite tasty. And it hits everything with him. Hits well. everything. Yeah, so he's quite nice. If I can get him into a bunch of your knights, that yes. could do a bit of extra damage. Well, I want to kill him, so get him up there, and then I get a five up for no pain. Okay, maybe run him away then. Bring him. Uh, and I've given him an enhancement. Yeah. So whereas if you're wounded, you have to take a battle shock test. He can he can look at one in engagement range and say you will take a battle shock. Okay. So forces an additional battle shock. Okay. Um, with him is a, a desecrated class, which is the Dark Harbor. Yes. Again, a bit mixed melee and shooty. Okay. Um, she hasn't got an enhancement on her, but any war dogs that are within nine, yes, um, they have uh, reroll ones to hit. Okay. And then the brigands here, I'm pretty sure they hit on twos when they shoot. Yes. So because I've been doing it where these guys hit on twos and then re-rolling hit rolls of one close to that thing. And you've got lots of guns and things. Yeah, very, very shooting. And I think if they shoot the closest thing, it's also an extra AP. Yes. I think. Yes, it is. Okay. So that's the shooty contingent with the warlord running forward, maybe not running forward. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Okay. Punchy contingent of the corn things. So we've got a um, Serastus, just like yours as well. Um, so free tank shock on it. Yep. Uh, war dogs within six. Their range weapons have assault. Okay. To be fair, those they're, so they're, they're both their shooty guns on the top are already assault. So it's going to make no difference for him running forward with his war dogs. Right. Um, but I've given him an enhancement which reduces all AP by one to make him a bit more survivable than your Lancer of any luck. That is really cool because the Imperial Knights have a very similar uh, enhancement which is reducing coming AP by one but you can only put it on uh, Questorus Knights, these type of Knights. But in the Chaos Knight thing, you can put it on any Chaos Knight. Yes. You put it on the Lancer yes. with this four up and vulnerable save reducing AP by one. Yes. Making him more tank. So your Lancer's better than my Lancer. Yes. I like it. 
Uh, okay, so that's the corn lot. Then we have the okay. War, war dogs can reroll charges as well. So. Reroll charges. Yes, yeah, nice. Then. I think they hit on twos in close combat. They are, and that slaughter core is vicious so in close combat. Most of my army hits on threes. I've got some buffs, but you got hitting on twos in close combat, hitting on twos shooty. I like it, and then the slameshi thing. So, yeah, so we've got Tyrant Class at the back. We yeah. went for the Harpoon version. Yes. I've gone for the Murder Gun version. Nice. So lots of range on it. Um, she has... Um, it gives all War Dogs within six benefit of cover. Okay. And um, you can't Deep Strike within 12, so your teleporty Harpoony can't right. get in close. Okay. Which is nice. Which is good, so I can't suddenly pop up, throw a Harpoon and four Melt Guns into it. Exactly. Okay. Um, and the two um, war dogs that we've got there, uh, the executioners. Uh, if your uh, if your models are below half strength, they add one to the hit roll. Nice. Okay. So lots of buffs to for you to hit. So you. It sounds to me that the chaos knights are more killy, and imperial knights are more defensive-y with their six up feel no pain and potentially a five up feel no pain. Uh, particularly Chaos Knights from turn three onwards can be murderable. Can yeah, if you've got any left alive. So <laughs> maybe I need to get up there real quick. But I don't know if I want to get up there real quick because I've still got some shooty stuff that needs to stay back, and we need to score the objectives as well. And we're deployed for this three thousand point game of Knights on Knights: The Ruinous Powers versus the Imperium. Um, we've got the Desecrator with some brigands over here. Corn holding the center, ready to go charging up. Slanesh on this side with a bit of zinc tucked in down there. And because this is your big shooty Castellan, that's where I put my Knight Lancer with some support. The shooty ones behind the cover at the back. Punchy ones over here as well, including my Knight Valiant. Looking a little bit exposed. With you go, I go deployment. It's not exactly in the best place that I want, but... Uh, Who's got the initiative? Who's got first turn? Off to you, sir. Thank you very much. And that's a three. three. And that's a six. I'm not sure I wanted first turn. Because the thing about knights is, if I just charge up in your grill, that just puts them right in front of you for you to counter charge me and kill them all. We've got the best cookies. Come over. And also, in this game, you score at the very end, right? Whoever controls them at the end. So having the last option is more powerful. But Zinch said I must go first. The ruinous powers are already affecting this battle. So the Knights of the Forge ride into this Canyon of Doom. The Lancer on one side, backed up by a couple of war glaives and the Helverin back here. The idea is the Crusader has told this Helverin to shoot better. And I've got some shots and I think I'm going to put it into a war dog to try and take away some of the weapons that the enemy have. I could fire some guns into the big one behind, but range is a thing, and some into War Dog, but I'd rather overkill a unit. And then around here, the Paladin and the other stuff move around this way to start putting some shots into the Lancer, and I don't think I'll kill the Lancer, but I can at least start softening them up. Um, and then the Valiant, right on the flank here. The idea is to block off some of the charges, so if there are charges, you'll hit the little ones first, not the big ones. We'll start on the left flank, however, because I have got a couple of shots with the Valiant. So on this flank, I've got two shield breaker missiles and one twin siege breaker cannon coming into the Knight Brigand over here. Let's fire some shield breaker missiles. They hit on threes. They both hit. Uh, at strength 12, I'm wounding on your toughness 10, What's wounding that? on threes, but they are anti Titanic. They're anti Titanic four up, not anti vehicle four up. And you're not Titanic. Right. And I wound once. Fire up and burn. Negative. And this is d6 plus one damage for six damage. That's a good start. It's half dead. Then the twin siege breaker cannon has two shots, which hit on threes. And let's re roll that one. And this will wound on Twin Siege Breaker Cannon Strength 6. Doesn't wound. Actually, that does wound. wound. It does wound. That is a full 3 up save. And you take ah. another wound. Moving down the line, let's fire War Glaive number 1 into the big scary Night Lancer. I have a Thermal Spear and it has two shots. And it hits on threes. And they both hit. Thermal Spears. Strength 12. Toughness 12. Wounds on fours. 
I can re-roll a wound. And I don't wound. Okay, that's one of them done. Let's do uh, armor gun number two, firing at the same target. Let's re-roll a hit, and then wound on fours. That wounds, and it has a four up and vulnerable save. Which you fail as well. These <laughs> dice are great. What are these dice that you've brought me? Thank you. Are they the Games Workshop official <laughs> they ones? They're the Games Workshop official demons dice. Demons dice. So I clearly haven't bathed them in enough like innocence blood yeah. to make them work yet. They'll, they'll get better. You need to sacrifice a few penguins or something. <laughs> uh, D6 shots uh, damage with the thermal spear for four damage on the Lancer. It's on 21 wounds remaining and now the thermal cannon from the Errant is also in range. This is 2D3 shots. That's five shots. That's quite good, isn't it? And you're the closest thing in range. So instead of hitting on threes, I'm going to be hitting on twos. And then they all hit. Strength 12 melter. Force to wound. Rerolling one of these because knights, two more, pardon me, two more wounds. And you made a save finally. Yay! Yay! But the other one does d6 damage for five damage. Must mention we are getting a CP a turn every turn, so you do have a CP to play with. Nothing that you want to spend a CP on yet though. Uh, we have a rapid fire battle cannon from the Knight Paladin, also stitching through the canyons to try and hit the Knight Lancer as well. It's d6 plus three shots. But a rapid fire it's 2d6 plus six shots that's a lot of shots okay it hits on threes and i'm a knight so i can re-roll a hit but once per phase you can re-roll one hit roll one wound roll all one saving throw i'm not going to re-roll the hit roll because it's an additional re-roll i've got a re-roll but i've got an additional re-roll because it's all because it's fives to wound you so I want to keep them for the wounding part. So I can reroll that for Knights and reroll that for Paladin. And it didn't help. That's two at minus one. There's loads of cover in the ways. Uh, you ignore the minus one because of your upgrade. So you have two, three episodes. And you make one fair one. And that's a flat three damage. What's the Lancer on now? 13 wounds. 13. Nice and softened up. But I don't think it's going to take any more shots. Because we're coming all the way around here. To start shooting at one of these little war dogs. This thing down here, the brigand, is very, very scary. So let's chuck a thermal spear into the brigand. Spending a CP on your bun to get it up? No, the dark god will bless us. It's fine. It's, it's fine. Okay. Right. Threes to hit with my thing. Rerolling one of them. And uh, strength 12, toughness 10 though. Threes to wound. That's a wound. Five up, invulnerable save. Do the dark gods bless you? No, that's a one. D6 damage <laughs> for one damage. Do There's I, the blessing. Do I command point that? I, I don't command point that. They softened up the damage, you see. Okay. Yeah. The Dark God's making that shot weaker, so I can't CP re-roll it. I mean, who will go against the will of the gods? Instead, I'll chuck in another Armager Warglaive on threes, and they both hit. Winning on threes, and they both wound. Two more. Five up. Invulnerable save, sir. And one. you make one fair one. D6 damage. It's going to be another one, isn't it? It's a six! It's a six! Dark gods and definitely didn't help that time. Right, firing in the Helverin. It has two Questorus heavy stubbers. It's been told to, to shoot better from the Crusader. So it's hitting on twos. And I hit every single time. It is. Strength nine. You are toughness ten. I need fives to wound. With a reroll, look at all those sixes. That is four saves you need to make. There is cover in the way, they're full throat saves. And you fail one of them, just one. So that's three more damage. It's on two remaining. It's not dead yet. Two remaining. I've got to kill one of your knights in turn one. I've got 3,000 points worth of knights. I need to kill a thing, and I'm thinking I'm going to get greedy. What I'm going to do. Is the Crusader back here will put the Gatling Cannon and the Missile Launcher into the one on two wounds left. The Gatling Cannon will probably do it because it's a two damage thing. But it's only strength six. And the Rapid Fire Battle Cannon will go into the other baby one. We'll start with the Rapid Fire Battle Cannon though. I'm not in uh, Rapid Fire range for this. So it's just five shots. And this is just an extra tickle. I'm not going to do any of the rerolls. We hit on threes. We wound on fours. Two three up saves on the Halverin equivalent. That little one there takes three damage. And then let's go back to the one that we injured. Avenger Gatling Cannon, 18 shots. I thought it was 12. It used to be 12, but 18. Good, isn't it? Threes to hit. 
Fives to wound. With cover, that's five four up saves. Here we go. And uh, fell no. a couple, and it's gone. Does it deadly demise and take out do some mortal wounds to the things next to it? That'd be that'd be good, wouldn't it? No, no deadly demise. But I have taken down a brigand, and then the knights of the forge fall silent as they rearm and reload, because that's the end of Imperial Knights Turn One. Here we are after the Infernal Powers movement phase with the Desecrator and the Brigand putting pressure around this flank towards the Valiant. Here is the Warlord of the uh, Forces of the Chaos. The False King. False King. False King, the Knight Abominant. Staying quite far back for now. Directing traffic. Try not to give up that 5 up <laughs> pain for my <laughs> entire army. The Corn Knights, obviously going straight up the gut. That's exactly what they want to do. And here are the Slanishy Knights. The Helverin equivalents, and I don't know the names. I'm going to call them Helverins, and I call it Castellan. Looking this way towards the Knight Lancer, and towards those Armagor Warglaves, really need to, to try and take out that lead Armagor Warglave there, because the Bondsman ability of the Lancer is he can tell one of them to advance and charge, and then I'll be in charge range of some stuff down here. The brigands here, these guys, what are they called again? The slaughter Carnivores. guys, Carnivores. Yeah, they can re-roll charges. So there is going to be some first turn charges, probably. In my command phase, if anything is alive and within 12 inch range of the Chaos Knights and they're wounded, I'll start taking Battleshock tests as well. But so long as I never fail a Battleshock test for this entire mission, I'll be fine. Right, I'm told this is a tyrant. These are executioners and the tyrant, the big one, is firing everything at my Knight Lancer, my big one. Okay, so we're firing with a brimstone lance, D3 shots, 4 2. Okay. Let's hit you on freeze. Yes. There's a hit. Strength 20. 20. So we want a 2. There's a 2. Uh, that's a 3. And that wounds. Uh, 4 up and vulnerable save. I'm Stop. fine. Stop it. So overcharging the ectoplasmic decimator. Nice. So D, uh, D6 plus 3. That is nine. the full shots, yeah. I mean, it's strength eight or strength nine if you overcook, so you're still winning on fives, but it gets the damage up to three instead of two. Does make it hazardous though. Hit seven times, fives to wound. And we have a wound. No, two. Two wounds, we have two wounds there. Uh, two, four up and vulnerable saves. Uh, I fell one of them, I have a feel no pain. Three damage. I only take two wounds, and it's a hazardous check on you because you overcooked it, and you don't take a hazardous wound. Who the what now? Two gastrike missiles. You mean the shield breakers? No, gastrike. Okay, right. Yes. <laughs> Bless you. One hit. One hit. Yes. Uh, nice. Force to wound, but it's devastating. No save. That's a five. That's devastating. No save, and it's D six plus one damage. For four. Four damage. Here's some feeling of the pains. I feel all the pain. Now the sh um, shield breaker, no. There's desecrate cannon. That's the one. Uh, D6 shots. Okay. For just the two. Okay. Uh, hit on freeze. Both hits. Six. Uh, strength six. So six yes. is twin, but it's twin links. Okay. Uh, there's one. one. Oh. And that's just one. I need a three up against that. And I make the save. So in the end, your big knight executioner was able to take only six wounds off the Lancer. Not quite enough. Yeah. What are you doing with the little guys? Right, so I'm going to spend a CP, yes. which is called Long Leash. Right. It basically means I can use the ability of this knight yes. on those. Okay. And she gives them... Smarties? <laughs> no, she makes them reroll ones. Okay. On hits. So we're going to roll them both at the same time, because you can pick up the three war dogs for this. Hitting on threes. And then re-rolling any ones. There's uh, two, two ones. There's another oh, one. one there. Yeah. Nice. Five to wound is the tricky part. AP minus one and they're straight shots. I should have stuck to cover a bit better. So these are all four up saves. And I failed two of them. That's six damage. So six feeling of the pains. I feel all the pain. I've taken 12 wounds so far. So the Lance is on 13 wounds remaining and the Desecrator can draw a bead to it. Two big guns of doom. The laser destructor. Yes. Big on twos. Everything hits. Strength 18. Freeze. Yes. That's only two wounds. CP in it. Yeah. But a different dice. Okay. No! Didn't help you. The gods betray you. Four up and bun. 
I make mine bun as well. The shots just bounce. A d6 plus 3 damage, that could have been very nasty, but he tightened forward it. He raised his shield up, so we've got a couple of brigands over here who are left to fire. What are we doing with the brigands? Uh, both going into your castellan. Okay. So we're doing two separately. Yes. Uh, so we'll go demon breath spear first. So okay. Two shots hitting on twos. Yes. Re rolling ones because they're in the range of Aurora. Yep. They're both hit. hit. Uh, Strength 12. Toughness 13 on a valiant. So fives. And we have a wound. Oops. There's a six. There's a chaos symbol. Uh, I need a five. I should have rotated iron shields. Didn't need to rotate Iron Seal. I'm a boss. Look at that. <laughs> it's all in the rest, you see. All in the rest. It's, uh... Right. Uh, Gatling Gun of Doom. 12 shots. Yes. Hitting on twos. Rerolling ones. But the tricky part is the six is the wound thing. But it will be minus two AP because closest thing in range. And there's, there's a six. There's a six. I need a four. I take a wound. Then a stubber came in and wounded as well, and two up save on the Valiant, which is fine. I just remembered I have a six up feel no pain. So that wound I took still sticks. Brigand number two firing at the same target. Here's the thermal spear equivalent. They both hit. Five to wounds, no wounds. And then it is the mini shots with the Gatling gun on twos. Five to wound is the tricky part. Drop dice don't count. I see three, four, five. I'm getting cover from this angle, so these are three up saves with a six up feel no pain, and I've only taken a wound. Well, it's taken two wounds in total. Not a great start from the Chaos Knights. What are you doing with your Warlord? Remember, once I've wounded you, you can start getting battle shot. That's true. There you go. That's uh, true. Warlord is going to put his Volkite Combustor and his Stabber into him as well. Okay. So, Good nine luck. shots with a Volkite Combustor. Yes. And freeze. Yes. Fives to wound. Sixes are devastating. There's a wound and a devastating. Against the wound, I have a two up. And then the devastating is three damage? Uh, yes. Feel no pain. I feel all the pain. It's taken five in total. We'll do the stubbers as well. Stubber fire, which is anti infantry, just bouncing off of the hulls of the uh, knights there. I did my stubber fire in my turn as well. Not doing anything. Anyway, last thing left to fire Knight Lancer. Shooting his lancey stick down at this target here. It's only 12 inch range, so it's the only thing you can really hit. Freeze. Nice. That's three misses. Not nice. Sorry. Uh, strength six. Five to wound. There's a wound. I need a three. I make the three. And that's the end of the shooting phase for the Chaos Knights. We do have some charges, however. Who is going to charge? This Armaga Warglade right in the middle of the battle grid. Uh, we'll start with the Lancer. Right. Try and get him in, and then we'll follow up with the War Dogs. Okay. And then this brigand round here has got a long bomb charge. Might be able to get in. Oh, no, and try and tag up the Valiant. Indeed. Grab some lights and let's see if this is going to work. So, what Lancer. Lancer, yes. Lancer makes seven. Lancer's definitely in. War Dog. Yes. Rerollable charge. Okay. He's definitely in. Okay. We'll do the other one just in case he can get in there. He can get in. If they can fit, they can all get in there. If it fits, it sits. And then it's like an 11 or 12 with this guy here. And that's an eight. And that won't be a successful charge into the Valent and you spent all of your CP. So let's move them forward and let's fight. Good squeeze two of them in. I have got two CP. I can pay to interrupt, but the Heretic Lancer does get a free tank shock. Looking for fives, and they'll do mortal wounds. Three came through, three feel no pains. I take three wounds, it's on nine remaining. And then the Lancer strikes out on twos, and hits four times. Strength 20. Wounds on twos. <laughs> wounds all the times. I need sixes. I make a six, but that still is 16 damage. Can I make a bajillion feel no pains? No, I can't make a bajillion feel no pains. <laughs> it's gone. Does it deadly demise? No, it doesn't. It just crumples under the attack of the Lancer. Magic King. Indeed. Interestingly, at the end of that combat, you can use your movement to get in range of that objective and get closer to my errant if you want. And so you do. And this is the end of turn one. How many wounds is your enemy Lancer on that, that thing there? 13 left. 13 left. Right in front of my lines. At the end of turn one, we both killed a war dog and a armiger each, one of the baby knights each. This thing's down to five wounds. 
That one's a, yours are more injured than mine though. The Valiant only took a couple. My Lancer took a bit of a pounding, but he's still on 13 wounds remaining. At the end of your turn, I could pick up my Valiant. So I need to go away and have a think about that as we go on to Imperial Knights, turn two. Okay, a couple of things. First, I didn't pick up the Valiant, and second, it passed its Battle Shock test, and I was zooming and narrowing for a long time about keep striking over here and shooting your dude in the back. But I don't think he can kill your Warlord in one turn. And then I put my really big killy Knight Valiant back here, right behind the rest of your army, and I would turn around and nuke it. Jeez. And it's already taken a couple of wounds, so he's definitely not doing that, particularly after a little shuffle sideways, I'm still in Thundercore Harpoon range. So the operation down here is kill these two. I've got an errant, a valiant, uh, a war, uh, not a war dog, <laughs> an armor guy down here who's blocking that advance round that way, and a paladin. Surely three big knights, one little knight can take out two big enemy knights. That's the plan. Get rid of them, which means they get off scot free this turn, but get rid of the close combat bunch over here. Then round this side on this flank. I advanced forward with this little armiger because knight lancers can tell them to advance and charge. And what did I roll? You rolled a big six. I rolled the fat six. He's all the way up the table. Doesn't It means this one can't shoot. It doesn't give him assault weapons or anything. But after I fired in with the lancer, with that one, and with these guys down here, whatever's left alive, we can charge. Yay! And uh, do you have any strats that allow you to fall back and shoot and fall back and charge or anything? Mm. No, just like me. So once you're locked in combat, you're locked in combat. You can shoot out of combat, obviously, but uh, no fall back and shoot or charge with knights, which is something that uh, they very much need. And hopefully will be in their codex whenever we get their codex. Okay, so let's start the shooting phase round here. I've got the Knight Lancer. That little armiger is down to nine wounds remaining. So I'm going to shoot my little spear into him on threes with a reroll. Then I need fives to wound with a re-roll, and I don't do anything at all. Right, that one's fine. <laughs> We're good to go. <laughs> this armiger is also gonna shoot at the little one. The idea is to charge the big one. Threes to hit. We hit both of the times. Strength 12, threes to wound. With the re-roll, we wound once. Five up, invulnerable save. And you make the five up, invulnerable save. Okay. Uh, Helverin, firing at the same target. Helvrin has been told to shoot better from the Crusader stood next to him. So I'm hitting on twos. I can re-roll a dice. And it's strength nine, your toughness ten. So I'm wounding on threes and I can re-roll a dice. There's a lot of cover in the way, so you need to make six three-up saves. And you make five three-up saves and only take three damage. So it's down to six remaining. I think I might spend a CP now. What I'm going to do is fire everything from the Crusader into the injured one on six wounds remaining. Everything, because I absolutely want it dead. Spending two CP on Trophy Calame, it used to be one CP, but it costs two CP. And basically, I get add one to the wound roll, and if I manage to kill it, claim my trophy, I get one CP back. Nice. So it only costs me one CP for plus one to wound. You get pluses to wound once I'm battle shocked in yes. turn three onwards. So let's teach you how it's done. In turn two, rapid fire battle cannon, adding six to this. This is 16 shots. Right, threes to hit with rapid fire battle cannon, re-rolling one of them. And it would be fours to wound, but it's threes to wound, re-rolling one of them. You've got cover though. Nine saves, three up, it's dead. It's dead many, many times over. I didn't need to fire everything at it. It's dead, does it deadly demise? It does deadly demise. Which is interesting because it's going to do d3 to your knight, d3 to my knight, and d3 to my knight. And that's two on my one. And then your one, that's a three. And then your other big one, that's a three. <gasps> and I get feel no pain. And I only take one wound. So it was completely overkill in the end, but I killed a thing. All of turn one, I killed one thing. This turn I've already killed a thing and I'm looking to take out three. So we're going to get over here. And we're going to fire the Thunder Coil Harpoon from the Valiant into the Big Knight. Because devastating wounds, four up and vulnerable save. If I manage to devastate it, no save. 
And then all the little guns from the Valiant, which are probably out of range, into the baby one. Let's start off with the shots into the Carnivore. Here's the Conflagration Cannon, 3d6 number of shots, which is nine shots with Torrent, which wound on five, stop dice don't count, and I do one wound. Ignores cover, so a four up save, and that's two damage. Now, two twin melt guns, they both hit. These are strength nine, so I need fives. Let's do the reroll, because they are melt guns. No, just one gets through. One five up and bump. And you fail that, and that's, D uh, that's D6 damage for another three damage. Twin Siege Breaker Cannon has one shot. That hits on a three, that misses. And then I've got two Shield Breaker Missiles. One of them hits. I think I've done my reroll to hit. I'm yes. pretty sure I've done my reroll to hit. Strength 12. A 6 is devastating. That is D6 plus 1 damage. Well, basically, if I roll a 6, it's dead. Yes. I don't roll a 6, it's not dead. It's on one wound remaining. Now we're going to the Thundercore Hut. Flat 12 damage on this thing. Have you um, read Betrayal? Like, fire the Ursus Corlors. It's so cool. Firing an Ursus. It should be called an Ursus Claw. That would be so cool. Um, it hits on a two. I hit. It suddenly occurred that I've done my reroll a wound, which perhaps I shouldn't have done. Perhaps I should have saved it for this. On a two, it'll wound you. It's strength 24. So it'll wound you on a two, but on a four, it's devastating, and it'll do a flat 12 damage. Well, 13 wounds remaining. Are you ready for this? I'm ready for this. I'm sort of building that up. Yeah. I'm looking for a four. And that's a six. And that's on one wound remaining as well. The coil slams in magnetic capillaries engage and then it yanks out guts from the inside of the Night Lancer. They're both on one wound. So let's have this Armaga Warglaive finish off. The baby one finish off the baby one on threes and then threes. With a re-roll. Five up saves, you need to make them both. You fail to make one of them. Oh. And drop dice don't count, and it doesn't deadly demise. Two engines down. Two engines down in this turn. Three in total, and the Night Paladin, again, overkill. Try and kill off that bad boy. Two D3 shots with its big gun of doom. I say Paladin, sorry, errant. Thermal cannon hits on twos, you're the closest thing. It is strength 12. I can re-roll that. I hit all the time. <laughs> Force to wound, and I can re-roll that. Those are all four up and vulnerable saves. You do have a CP. There is a world in which this lives, but not, not today. today. Do you know what? That's three failures. That is D6 a time, and each of these shots, because you're in melt range, is add six. That's like 18, 20, 24 damage. You've reduced it to slag. Yeah. Does it explode? Hopefully not. It doesn't explode. Boom. Three engine kills in a turn, four in total, and I've still got the Paladin. And we're not in rapid fire range, but this one's down on five wounds remaining, so we might as well chuck a shot in, see what we can do. And we're adding three to this. This is the rapid fire battle cannon with Marie roll. These are wound on fours with a re-roll, and you get full, uh, full three up saves against this because covering things. And that is nine damage on that. That was a cherry on the cake, and it killed that one as well. <laughs> and that one it deadly demises. Up. And how much on my desecrator? It's a three. three. It's, oh, you're word. good at hurting yourself. The chaos gods are not friendly today. Explosions happening all over the place. That's the end of the Knights of the Forge shooting phase. What an awesome display of firepower. And it ain't over. This Armaga Warglaive charging the tyrant. And make the charge. Hello, Editing Winters here. Knights can't overwatch, and I forgot to mention at the start of the video that we were allowing Knights to overwatch because it's Knights on Knights, and that would be cool. And now some overwatch happens, which I didn't mention at the start of the video, but we're allowing it because it's cool. But you are overwatching. I am overwatching. Starting off with... The Volcano Lance. Okay. For D3 shots. Yes. For Big Free. Okay. But we need some sixes. You do need some sixes. There's, there's a six. There's a six. There's a six. Wounds on a two or three? Uh, strength 20. Two. It wounds on a two. There's a wound. AP minus five. <laughs> five up and vulnerable save. 
I don't make my five up and vulnerable save. D6 plus eight. It's a what now? D6 plus eight. Uh, uh, I've only got 11 wounds. I need to make at least one six. This can't go wrong, can it? I make three sixes. Damn right. Missiles. Uh, no. Mm -hmm. We've got two twin melters. Yeah. So, going for some sixes. And there's another six. There we go. Um, it's twin links. You need a five. But it is twin linked. Change dice. Brilliant. No. Twin desecrated cannon on top. Is four, four shots. shots. This is sixes to hit. Drop dice. No. Any misses. Finally, the ectoplasmic decimator. Uh, we're going to supercharge it. Right. So okay. it's going to be hazardous. Yes. Because why not? Okay. Uh, D6 plus three shots for nine. Maximum effort. There's a hit. Five to wound. There's a wound. In one. Fail the fun. That's a flat three damage. Yeah, it is a flat three. Um, I don't make any sixes. It had three wounds remaining. You kill it on Overwatch. Boom. No boom. You do have a hazardous check though. I do have a hazardous Maybe check. Maybe you so hurt I might yourself. Have some damage anyway. You're good at that. That's another three damage to yourself. <laughs> so maybe you killed it and it just sunk its Reaper chain glaive in. As and it went down. Grazed the charge. service. As it went, yeah, slunk down onto its knees. So locking up the tyrant didn't happen. And I lost an engine in my turn. So that was unfortunate, but much damage, big well across the middle of the battlefield. The forces of chaos are going to have to really go away and have a think now. This crook carnivore can do some work with its slaughter claw. It's absolutely nasty. You've still got some very big guns in the backfield. And my Knight Lancer is now front and centre in front of your really big shooty knight with only 13 wounds remaining. And that thing should have been locked up, but it's not. As we go on to Forces of Chaos turn two. Here we are after the Forces of Chaos movement phase. And I have to shout out this. Badger King, your Knight Tyrant is going the wrong direction. It's going straight for the Lancer. What's all this about? Right, so everything is in danger close murder range. Yes. So I can shoot the bejesus out of that Lancer. Right. Don't kill it. Tank shock it on the way in and just punch it with oh, a yeah, hand. Because yeah. I would have, I would have pulled him back out of charge range, but you're going into the fire. If we do not, as worshippers of the dark gods, we cannot fall back and lose. Because if we do, yes. they will be very, very mad with us. Well, this one came back a little bit, but then that was to open up the field of fire around <laughs> here. Your warlords move round this side. Desecrate is staying relatively stationary. I can put a shot if, yes. the, if the mega shooty death and the charging is not an option. I've yeah. still got a desecrated lance that could get a thread the needle right. and get that lancer. If not, we've got a big chunky block there that we can yeah. shoot into as well. Mind you, if it's only on a couple of wounds left, you've got 13 dice on the tank shock. Yeah. And I suppose if you charge me, then I'm not charging and tank shocking you for and You free. get a free tank shock, so it's, it blunts that. That actually makes sense. Okay, and then guns round here, and of course the carnivore straight up the gut towards the Eren, who probably might need a little bit of softening up before a carnivore goes in there. But let's go into the shooting phase and find out what the Chaos Knights do. I'm going to start here with a tyrant firing at a Nant Lancer with all the guns, danger close, finger on the trigger time, don't stop shooting what you're starting off with. We'll start off with the uh, Brimstone Volcano Lance, okay. D3 shots. That's one. One, that's right. not okay. so good. Hitting on great. a three. And that's a two. two that's, um, yeah, no, right. that's that's not a good start. No, not, Do you want to overcook your plasma again? That's always fun. That's what well, I keep taking wounds off myself, but why not? So let's go for it. So D6 plus three, overcharged. Okay. Or big nine. Nine. You every do not every time nine and every time overcooked. And every time hazardous. Right, we're gonna do the hazardous first. Okay. Because okay, <laughs> if I do last, last, last I'll change the order and it's oh, not gonna be It's, it's not fine. a one. Yay! It's not a one. All the wounds off that so far you've done to yourself. We don't talk about that. Yeah. Anyway, nine shots. <laughs> Hit on freeze. Yes. That's quite a lot of hits. Fives. We have two, two, two wounds, two and buns. I fail them both. I don't want to feel any pain, but I felt all the pain. It's on seven remaining. What's next? Uh, two strike missiles. Gazento. Thank you. Uh, one of the hits. Uh, and and T Titanic things four up. That's yes. devastating. That's a thing. That is no safe. So D6, D6 plus one, one, and I've got seven left. 
And that is cocked. And that <gasps> is seven. I'll try and fail seven. Thank you. Very kind of you. I'll fail them all. Thank you. You take out the Love Night you. Lancer and you still have the metal guns and everything. The Night Lancer doesn't deadly demise, mm -hmm. but you do take it out. Stepping forward into the fire was the right way to go. The charge of the Lancer around this flank completely failed. My Lancer getting cut down before he even makes it into close combat. What a glorious riposte from the Chaos Knights. Now we're going for the War Dog with the auto cannons into the Errant. These are straight shots as well, no cover. I really should position myself better. Five to wound. We have three wounds. Four up and buns. That's six damage, look. Feeling of the pains. I take six damage. It's on 16 remaining. Now the brigand is shooting everything at it. Rerolling so ones. We'll here. do the melter lance first. Yes. Reroll that one. Should change the dice. Both of them hit. Um, Force to wound. They don't wound. Should have changed the dice. Should have changed the dice. Another gun that goes brr. After the reroll, 11 of them hit. Six is to wound. wound. There's two wounds. Three. Uh, three wounds, minus two because closest and things, minus one because of cover, so fours. And feel no pains. Take one more wound. And a stubber came in and rattled away another wound. It's on 14 remaining, and we're on to the abominant. The abominant. False king is going to hit you with his Volkite Combustor. A false king. Hit you on threes. He misses quite a few there. Uh, strength 12, so forced to wound. Yes. We look for sixes, there's De a six! There's a devastating wound. Three damage. I take one. <sighs> Just one. What are you doing with the desecrator then? Big one. Into him. You're not going to put it into the errant? I can't see. I've, it's Have deliberately... You, you not, I'm yourself. not hiding. Oh yeah, you blocked yourself off. Okay. Right. Three, three shots. Laser two, destructor. Twos. And they hit all the time. Strength 20, right? Uh, 18. Okay, so threes to wound. Two wounds. Two, five open vulnerable saves. Fail them both. How much damage? D6 plus three. So two D6 plus six is what you're saying. 13 wounds come through. I need to make two sixes. Unless you want to CP reroll one of them. No, I want some tank shocking potentially. Yes. Okay, two sixes coming up. There's three sixes. It's alive on two wounds remaining. We'll do some stubbers though. That's the end of the shooting phase for the Chaos Knights, destroying the Knight Lancer, putting down this Warglaive to two wounds remaining, then we charged. The Carnivore couldn't fail a charge against the Errant, but you're still thinking about tank shocking with the Tyrant over there. It's going to be a 10 inch charge, inch charge. to make that charge. And that's a 12. The forces of Chaos. The Chaos Gods clearly want it. Though I wonder whether you really want to be in close combat. The Forces of Chaos might want you in close combat, but that thing isn't exactly punchy. It's uh, It's got big feet, you'll step on your toes. Big feet, okay. And I do have CP to interrupt, but we're doing the tank shot first. Here we go. Looking for fives. Five fives came through, and I make a six, and that takes four mortal wounds off my war glaive. But before we start the fight here, because I could pay to interrupt, we're going with a carnivore over there. At six attacks, it hits on twos with a slaughter claw and hits five times. Strength 12, I think, from memory. Yeah. I've got it right. It never happens. <laughs> and you do two wounds. I need sixes, need some sixes to save. I don't get sixes to save. How much was the slaughter claw damage? D6 again? plus two. So Ooh. it's four plus. That's only seven. <laughs> four plus. <laughs> <laughs> That was brilliant. I did take seven wounds. Yay! That does put the errand down to six wounds remaining, so it is bracketed. It is bracketed. All right, now we'll come across here to the tyrant. Uh, stomping <laughs> on the wall, glaive, kicking out. Fours. Okay. On fours. Okay. It, it, it kicks twice. It kicks out twice. Uh, yeah. It is straight vein. Is it? Yeah. It's twice to wound. There's a wound. Mm -hmm. Minus one. Um... I failed to save. Two damage. Two damage for getting kicked in the shin. I take two wounds. Yay. Let's fight back. Right, we'll start with the war glaive. He's not as choppy as you. You know, like you've got six attacks hitting on twos that do D6 plus two. He's got four and it's a flat three damage. Not bracketed though on six wounds. So I'm hitting on threes. Nice. 
and I'm strength 10, so I'm winning on fives, but I've got that re-rolly thing. So look at that. That's brilliant. Three come through at minus three, but tyrants have a natural two up save. So that'd be three five up saves. Make two. Okay, so you only take three wounds, which means the tyrant is still on 15 wounds remaining. It's still very much in the fight. So now we'll come around here. The errant fighting back against the carnivore. He raises his massive Reaper chain sword, but he's injured. Hits on fours. Hits once. Strength 14. Toughness is only 10. Wins on a three, but a minus four, no save. One minute, I've got to re-roll a hit as well, right? Yeah, I've got to re-roll a hit. So that's another hit. Yep. Uh, okay, two wounds. Two wounds in total at minus four, no save. Six damage a time. It's 12 damage. Dead carnivore. And so, goaded by the forces of chaos, the voices in his head, that war dog pilot was maddened and went charging into the errant, paid for its folly, didn't blow up when he got taken out. And the errant stands there resolute as we end Chaos Knights turn two. They have five engines remaining. It's become a bit of a hammer and anvil deployment now with the Warlord all the way over here. Now it comes to, do I, do I pick up my Valiant this turn and try and drop it back here and go for the enemy Warlord? I think, I think I might do that. He is a mysterious Guardian. A uh, dark age technology flickers through the carapace as the Valiant disappears from the battle grid. And we go on to Imperial Knights, turn three. The flicker of ancient technology and the Valiant appears behind the Warlord, the abominant of this uh, Chaos household. I'm not sure I can one-shot it, but I'll certainly give it a go. And then in front of the front lines of the Chaos Knights, well, this little thing's on two wounds, so he might as well charge because he's dead anyway. Um, so he'll shoot and charge this fella. It's not going to go well for him when he gets punched back, but let's tickle some wounds off. And the Eren is out of charge range. Uh, so he's just stomped forward and he'll throw some firepower in as well. The Paladin, I moved him along the lines because that way he can see down here. He can see up the end to the Executioner and he can see on the right to the Tyrant over here. And you'll notice there is a red token next to my arm of the Warglaive there because he failed his Battleshock test. It's turn three. Um, so he's got minus one to wound and all those things and... If Titanic units and aircraft make a... If you make a desperate breakout test on a 1-2, you lose a model. But Titanic and aircraft don't do desperate take it breakout tests. Baby knights aren't Titanic. So if I leave him in there, I'm minus one to hit the tyrant. If I pull him out of there, then I'm not minus this to hit the tyrant, but I could lose my Armaga Warglaive. So I'm definitely going to pull him out of there. Because it's comedy if I roll a one or two. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see if he can break free of this combat. As a four, he can break free of this combat. He takes a couple of steps back after getting battle shot. The infernal powers. There's Newosphere rattling through the pilot canopy right now. Did I say Newospheres? I meant scrap code. Scrap code rattling through the new. You know what I meant. I know. Brilliant. Okay, so he's out. Now we're going to shoot. We have this thing hitting on twos because he's been told to by the Crusader. Going into that big thing there. Armour got auto cannons on twos, re rolling one of them, and this is going to need eh, fives to wound, re rolling one of them. You have got cover, that's three. Two up saves, and you're good. Uh, the Armour has a little melter on top. Did I actually get round? So I'm in melt range. I'm definitely not in melt range. Let's fire everything from the Crusader. In it. Here's the big gun of doom, which wounds on sixes. I'm saving my reroll. There's a wound, just a wound. That's a four up save. It's AP minus two, and I do tickle two wounds off. Let's do the storm spear rocket pod, which has got three shots and they all hit, which is strength eight. And I'll do my reroll. They wound. Those are two four up saves. They make one bear one command point, d6 damage, and 13 no. wounds remain. No, that's, no. that's really cocked. That's cocked. And that's six damage. Ouch. 
Then a rapid fire battle cannon in the rapid fire range, adding six to this. Hits on threes. I haven't done my reorder hit yet, but I have done my reorder wound because these are all fives to wound. Two more wounds, two more three up saves. And that is six damage. That'll put you down to one wound remaining. This but it's is not where we dead. The command point. Okay. Okay, you make it. It's on four wounds. Well, let's keep going then. Let's fire the paladin through. The reason why I put him there is so he could fire in all sorts of different directions. Let's try and polish him. Mind you, you can have a top save to this. But you are in rapid fire range. So I just need two of these to get through. I can get two of these. Oh, ten shots. Two of these might get through. Ten shots ain't great. Yeah. Freeze. Drop dice don't count. Rerolling that one. Fives to wound. Two wounds. If you could roll snake eyes and kill your tyrant, I'd appreciate Where it. Where my dice rolling has been going. It's yeah. very possible. Yeah. No. Close. Make both of the saves. It's on four wounds remaining. I'm going to flicker in a couple of stubbers while I just remember them. And uh, the stubbers did nothing. Um, anti inventory fire again, hitting a two up save monstrosity. So we're down to the Knight Errant. Now, the Knight Errant is not in charge range, but that little war glaive is. And it's going to be charging a desecrator. So I need to soften up the desecrator. So Errant, fire at desecrator. 2d3 for number of shots. It's four shots. It is not the closest thing. So I'm going to be hitting you on three. But I do have the reroll. And I'm going to be wounding on fours. And everything wounded. Minus four or something? Four, okay. It's invulnerable saves. Five ups. Yes. You fail every single one. That's not good. That's not good. Because this is 4d6 damage. And that thing's got 13 wounds remaining. Maybe uh, my little armor. 19. 19? 19. Oh yeah, there's another six there. Uh, then like, what's the average age of combat soldier in Vietnam? 17? You're so young. <laughs> if anyone knows the answer to that question from that hit in the 1980s, I remember it. It was on the radio. Anyway, that's the... Da um, yes. It, 12. It's not dead. It's still alive. It was a pop song in the 80s. It was on top of the pops and everything. Was it George Michael? No. It was like someone... I don't... I can't forget the name of the dude who did it, but it was all over the radios at the time. If someone knows, answering the... Question, Sullivan H Gilwell, H Sullivan Gilwell, no, he's know. really old, and he knows music and songs and everything. Sullivan, tell us what it was. Thank you. Uh, right, so, I fired a stubber in, nothing. Now we're coming across to Warglaive, seven wounds remaining on the dude. Warglaive shoots at the dude. Warglaive hits both of the times. Warglaive wounds the desecrator dude both of the times as well. My dice rolling has been hot, yours has been shocking. Terrible, terrible, yeah, terrible, terrible. It's a terrible. dice game. And you make both of the saves. There we go. I've got a little melter, which isn't in melter range, and that doesn't hit, but I've got a reroll, and it doesn't hit. That's the end of my shooting phase. Did I kill anything? No, you've got one over here still. All the guns here. Ah, yes. How could I forget a knight valiant shooting your warlord in the back? I mean, if you don't want to, I'm not going to complain. No. But I think maybe we should. We're going to shoot it. Cannon of the Conflagration variety. Number of auto hits is low. Wounds on fives. Two wounds. Two four up saves. Ignores cover and everything. I set you on fire. You take two wounds. I've started. So let's keep going with shield breaker missiles. And both of them hit. Three looking for force to wound. But they're devastating. So let's do my ZP on the reroll. No, I shouldn't have done that. I should have saved it for the coil. For the thunder coil thing. I've done it now. Uh, so both of them hit. Both of them are devastating. And D6 plus one, D two D6 plus two damage here, basically. That was six damage. Okay, twin siege breaker cannon has four shots and misses. And I'm a genius spending a CP on a reroll, because then I've still got my rerolls on the thing, the natural thing. Yes, that's why I did it. I should right, okay. Thunder coil harpoon hits on a two. A hit. Strength 24. I don't think there's a stronger weapon in the game. And Wait, now I do my reroll for Imperial Knights. Three isn't devastating. So you do get a save because it's AP minus six. Five up save will take 12 damage. 
We'll have a five, please. That's a three. That's not a five. It's taken 20 damage so far. So uh, can I one shot it? I've still got some melters. And they both hit. Five to window. I've got new dice. I changed the dice. One of them is twin linked as well. Okay, one of them gets through. One five up save. You got this. I've got, you this. got this. I've got this. You, I don't got this. You don't got this. D6 damage for two damage is dead. <laughs> Just. And that's another engine kill. We've slayed a tyrant. The false king has fallen. And then at the start of my next command phase, I get a five up feel no pain. I power up. And we still have a charge to make. This Armaga Warglaive is going to try and charge your Desecrator. And how far am I away? You're very much within. Crump, he gets into combat. Not like he really wants to be there. And <laughs> he's in on fours because I've only got two wounds left. Oh dear. Uh, Reroll. Oh dear. Okay, a bounce. I <laughs> ran in. Bounce, stagger back again. Ring like a dinner bell. And the Desecrator can turn around with his big fist of doom. And uh, rip his head off. So four attacks. Yes, forced to hit your injured okay. as well. On seven, is it? Yeah, it, yeah, it's one, okay, one so to yeah. seven for the big knights. Yeah. Uh, so hit on fours. You just need one to get through. That's two, two. Strength twenty. Okay, twos to wound. They both wound. Minus three AP. So you're telling me there's a chance. There's a chance. If I roll box cars here coming up. New. How much damage? Uh, so eight, 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 isn't it? So he needs to make eight feel no pains. Here's some dice. No, he doesn't make all his feel no pains. Does he does it? It'd be nice though, seen as, um, seen as, you know. No, please, please no. No explosions, no explosions. I just feed the beast. He was on two wounds, he was dead anyway. He had to try and go charging in there, try and get the glory kill, because that desecrate is on seven remaining, and that is the end of Imperial Knights. Turn three, that valiant move, jumping up and over behind your lines. I'd love to say that it was tactical genius. However, I rolled really well and you didn't. No. Still, the forces of chaos have four engines remaining and while the tyrant stands, there's always a chance. As we go on to Chaos Knights, turn three. There's been a bit of canny movement from the Chaos Knights here. The Desecrator has stomped all the way over here because his targeting sensors know how fast the Valiant can move and the range of that Thundercoil Harpoon. Basically, he puts it out of Thundercoil Harpoon range because he's only got seven wounds remaining and one shot can kill it. So now I can't kill it. And that Errant is on six wounds remaining and you didn't go the full distance, making sure you've still got line of sight just to hit the Errant as well. And the idea, and he, you're hit uh, re-rolling ones because you're in range of the Desecrator. The idea is kill the Errant on six wounds remaining. And then this thing that's battle shock that took a couple of steps back can be seen by your Executioner firing through the trees, <laughs> straight through that rocky outcrop. And maybe kill my War Dog as well. And then I've lost two engines and we're down to exactly the same number of engines. And then we've got the Tyrant over here in a free fire environment. The Tyrant, my Valiant at the back, will be out of position. And uh, yeah, I won't have much punch left. The only thing that could really punch if you take down the Errant and the Armager Warglaive will be this Paladin here, which is uninjured for now. So now let's shoot some guns. So this Executioner is firing at the Armager down here because that Armager is battle shocked. You get plus one to hit. So, so you're hitting on twos. Twos, eight shots. And you only drop one of them. Two of them. Two of them. Fives to wound is the tricky part. One, one wound. And there is a lot of cover between me and you, which helps me. I'm still on six wounds remaining. One minute. It's in melt range. The errand is in melt range. It's a 12 inch shot yeah. range on the melt. Okay. I like where you line that up. That's a hit. Fives to wound. That doesn't wound. Okay. So it was a glory shot. <laughs> it didn't pull off. What are we doing next? So we're going to come over to the Brigand. He's yes. going to put all of his guns into that. To I'm off. definitely rotating iron shields. Melt of fire. Melt first. Yes. Reroll the one because we're in range. Should have changed the dice, but that's all Both good. Both of them hit. Forced wound. Nothing. Nothing on the wings. Okay, we have the Avenger Chain Cannon. 12 shots. Two. Twos. Rerolling that one. Yes. All there. And this then is six is the wings. 
There is four sixes. Okay, AP minus one becomes AP minus two because closest. Back to AP minus one because of all the trees and things. Uh, and I take a wound. And I take a wound. It's on five remaining. Let's do a bit quick stubbers. Okay. All hit and then some sixes again. Nah. No, it just takes one wound. Two war dogs are fired. Only one wound caused so far. Yes. Desecrate a cannon time. Choose to hit. Freeze. Come on, freeze to wound. Yes. Yes, both of them wound. Minus right. Four. Did well, rotate iron shields. rotating like a bad boy. Um, how much damage? D6 plus three. That's a lot of damage. Here we go. That is nine, nine. damage. Right. I've still got six up feel no pain. I don't get the five up feel no pain until my command phase. I also get three CP in my command phase, taking out your warlord. So I need a bunch of sixes on my feeling of the pains. That's not enough sixes. That is a dead errant, which just gets cut in half and keels over. Then after the errant fell, the stubber flicked out, hit my paladin, took a wound off of it, and now we're down to the tyrant who stood in amongst three enemy engines. All right, we got there in the end because you've got pluses to wound this fella down here because he's battle shocked. So all the stuff, which is the cannon on top and that and the melt guns, which would normally wound that on fives, are going that way because you're wounding it on fours. Balls. The shield breaker missile equipment, the gestrike, because I'm tight. <laughs> They're anti-Titanic are going straight ahead yes. into the Titanic thing. And then the big gun doom coming into the Halverin. Indeed. You're trying to kill all three. I love it. How very chaotic. What are we starting off with? Let's do the big gun of doom. Okay. The D3 shots. Yes. Oh, oh, the big three. It's the first time you've had three <laughs> shots. Forced to hit those. He's a bit injured. And you miss every single time. Your dice rolling is making me... Are you okay? Do you want a hug? All right, let's kill the injured one. The desecrator cannon D6 at the injured shots. one. Yes, for two. Forced to hit. One hit. Forced to wound. Because pluses to wound. It wounds. I fail the save. It's one damage. One Feel damage. no pain. I feel the pain. It's down to five remaining. Now you've got two twin melt guns coming at it. These are fours to hit. And they miss because you're dice rolling. <laughs> These Games Workshop dice are letting you down. And, and then, then, are you overcooking the big gun? <sighs> See, if you overcook it, you only need two to get through. If you don't overcook it, you need three to get I'm through. I'm going to overcook it. Because yeah, what could possibly go wrong? Because my dice roll has been brilliant. It's not yeah. like I'm going to fail a hazardous check or anything, no. is it? D6 plus three for five. Fours. You hit three times. Forced to wound. You wound once. Come on, boy. <sighs> no, no. But that's the last shot that's going into it, and you really need it dead. So this is this listens to winners or not listen to winners. I don't know. No command point. No. Nope. I further save three damage. Healing of the pains. It's on two wounds remaining, and it's not dead yet. Okay, target number three, missiles straight ahead. On fours. And no. they miss as well. So this sprayed and prayed in every single direction and only took four wounds off an armiga. Does anybody on the Discord, on yeah. Windows Discord, which you should become a member for, um, I can sell you some really, really good cow dice. They're great. They're brilliant. I highly recommend. Yeah, worth buy every them. Penny. What you should do is buy them for a friend and give them away as a gift. Yeah. So at the end of the shooting phase, you took out one of the targets, the Errant. But targets down here still very much combat effective. Are you charging anything again? Yes, I am. Okay. What are you charging? I'm charging the big one. But that little one's only on two wounds remaining. I know, but no. Just charge the big one, because... Uh, yes. Because you could tank shot the little one and kill the little one. You could tank shot the little one, but I could also smash into the big one, wound it, and then you're all taking wounds, and then you yes. can start getting battle shopped, and then everything will be better when you're battle shopped. Okay, so you charge the big one. Don't roll snake eyes, otherwise I'm going to cry. That's not snake eyes, that's an 11. Where's that when I'm shooting? Right, Tyrant on Crusader action. It's also worth mentioning as well, you have an enhancement, you made that objective down there sticky, didn't you? Yes. So, so still controlling uh, that one. It's now tainted, so it will cause back that objective will cause yeah. battle shock test to you as well. Is it? Um, are you tank shocking? I am spending CP for tank shock. Fives, looking for fives. And 
Look, that is enough wounds to have killed that Almaga if you'd have gone charging in that way. I shouldn't have said that out loud, should I? Sixes, feel no pains. I take some pain. Okay. Right, then we kicked out at each other. You did a wound to me after a feel no pain. I did no wounds to you and we're locked up there. And that is the end of Chaos Knights turn three. Yes. So at the start of turn four, my entire army gets three CP and an extra feel no pain. Because <laughs> I really need the help right about now. Uh, the Valiant... He's out of position. He's done his once per battle teleport thing, so I'm not sure what he's going to do over there. Operation Kill the Tyrant is definitely in effect at this side of the battle grid as we go on to the Knights of the Forge, turn four. The battle has split in half. Down this flank, the Paladin and the uh, Valiant are heading to try and take down the Desecrator and the Brigand over here. Brigand is uninjured, but that Desecrator is on Seven wounds remaining. Maybe the Paladin could do something about that. The Valiant will only be shooting a brigand. This this Armager, sorry, War Dog, he's going to get off scot free this turn, possibly. Because up this side of the battle grid, surrounding the Tyrant, are three things three engines. I moved one round after buffing him up to hit better, to uncleanse the objective that you despoiled. No, I cleansed the contaminated. Yes, that one is mine again. Uh, I don't want you to have a sticky one. And I did battle shock, and the pallet, uh, the crusader passed, and this one failed. And then you said you're spending a CP on a thing. Yes, terror shades. Terror shades. So I roll six d six. Right. On a four up. Yes. You take a more wounds. Right. And I steal that wound. I've only got two wounds left. Exactly. There was a plan. It was all a very dark. Oh, part of the plan. Okay, so fours did you say? Fours, but we know my dice roll has been amazing, so yeah. this is going to go really well. I mean, that's... That is four that, mortal wounds. That'll do. One minute. I've got six up, five up, feel five no up pain. Feel pain. So I'm going to roll five five ups. Now, four five ups, and you're not going to have any back. And uh, it's completely alive. You don't do any wounds whatsoever. You should have seen his face. He wasn't looking at the dice roll. <laughs> I was going to You kill it. Back. You kill it. You take two wounds off. And you do kill my Armager, which doesn't deadly demise. So what does it say? It says, roll 66 yes. for each 4+, plus. the yes. enemy unit suffers one mortal wound. Right. And this model regains up to one lost wound. Okay, so you get four back, but I only took two. Yes. Yes. Dark mechanic and necrotech technology. Love it. Okay, so you're back up to eight. So let's fire everything at him. Here's the Helrin. Daka, daka, daka. Um, hitting better because of that. Rerolling that. And then fives to wound. Rerolling that. Nothing. Okay. He's got a melter in melter range, which hits. I should have kept my reroll a wound. Doesn't wound. So that's the Helrin gone. Everything from this. I think the rapid fire battle cannon is blast. Dude, the rapid fire battle cannon is blast. I can't shoot it. And then I had a look around here at what I could actually shoot at with a blast gun. It's going to be the one that wasn't going to get hit. <laughs> <laughs> so it's D6 plus three shots at this range for six shots. But I am hitting you on fours because I am currently in combat. I'm not going to spend any of the things on the reroll of the things on this. I want to kill the Tyrant and I don't wound it. Don't wound the Helrin. Now we've got all the straight shots into Tyrant point blank range. No point rotating iron shields because How you don't. No, oh yeah, and you don't need to anyway. Um, here's the storm spear missile pod, and I'll reroll a hit, and they all hit. I'm gonna need fives to wound you, and I'll reroll a wound, and I wound once. Four up save, and you fail it. Of course you do. D <laughs> six damage for four damage. It's back down to four wounds remaining. Cannon. It goes brr. Need sixes and I need two of these to get through. I get one. You need a four up safe. Here we go. And you fail the four up safe. <laughs> and you're down to two wounds remaining. And I don't kill the tyrant because of that necrotech dark mechanic and technology that sucked the life out of my pilot and reinvigorated the knight tyrant. Okay. Come over here to the Valiant. 
Right, the only thing the Valiant can shoot is its shield breaker missiles and twin siege breaker cannon. All the other things are out of range. So we'll put them into the little one because the Paladin should be able to deal with the big one. So here's the shield breaker missiles. And I can reroll that with my thing. And only one of them hits. Um, shield breaker missiles needs a three. Six is a devastating. That's a wound. Um, five up in vulnerable save. Do you roll a one again? Your dice love ones. This is d6 plus one damage. A five damage. Then the twin siege breaker cannon fired in and didn't wound whatsoever. So this is on seven now, right? But I want to charge. How many is that one on? Seven. I don't trust the charge. I mean, the reaper chain thing does six damage. So I need to tickle a couple of wounds off. So let's put the stubbers and everything from the paladin into the desecrator. Here's the rapid fire battle cannon in rapid fire range, adding six to this. And I'm hitting on threes with the knight's reroll. I'm winning on fives with a reroll. And uh, you have two four up saves. Can you make a save? It's <laughs> getting embarrassing. It's on one wound remaining. I fired the stubber in, bounced off of its hull, and now we charge. And I think I'm in. Dude, I've got like five or six TP over there. Um, and I don't trust my attacks with the Reaper, Chain Fist. So I'm going to tank shock you. So I roll 12 dice. If I get a five, I kill your Desecrator. Indeed. Run him down. And there's two fives. That's enough to kill the Desecrator. Who doesn't blow up? Can't blow up. He does blow up. And that's going to do D6 mortal wounds to my Paladin. Here we go. For two. <laughs> and I'm going to do D6 wounds to that Brigand there. Got seven left. I do three. I get feel no pains on the two that you did to me. And I don't feel <laughs> the pain. <laughs> Make it stop! After the combat with the Paladin, we came back over here to the combat between the Crusader and the Tyrant, kicking each other in the shins. No damage caused. The leg armor, if you've seen it on Imperial Knights, is really strong. Um, that's where most of the attacks come from. So shin kicking, no damage caused. That's the end of Imperial Knights. Turn four. So the Chaos Knights have three engines remaining and this one, the Brigand, is stepping away from the Paladin. What are your thoughts, Badger King? So, plan is, we're going to shoot in the back because that's very chaos -y, and we're going to shoot it in the back, that's very chaos -y, Yes. to kill that. We're not running away, right? but we are running away. Yes. We're flowing this way. This way. This is the important part of the battlefield. You right. didn't realise it. It's all part of our plan. Okay. All that bad shooting would yes. lull you to come in close. Well, I just imagine you're only going to roll fives and sixes now. Exactly. Mind you, you're pretty good at rolling sixes when you don't want to explode. Yes. Okay. So shoot that one. Kill all of that. that that's then dead. Yes. They're very dead. Then, because the big guns on this are blast, they can't shoot into combat. Right. So just put the missiles and the melters in and kill that, because that, that'll do it. Right. Fives and sixes, definitely. Yes. And then, because that'll be dead, yes. murder guns can go to the paladin. It sounds like nothing could go wrong whatsoever. Let's go on to the shooting phase. So your executioner is shooting my Helverin in the back. Hitting your freeze. Yes. And then fives to wound. It's not battle shot. Nothing. And the metal gun is in range as well. One shot. Hits. Hits. You need the six. There's the six. There it was. And there's a the six to again. wound as wound. Uh, five up. I don't make my five up. D6 damage. Is three damage. And so that is three. Feel no pains. I take three wounds. Yay. It's on nine left. So the brigand now, which we've lined up, can see it, can shoot. Melt gun hits both of the times. Wounds on threes. Wounds both, both of the, the times. times. Mm, that's interesting. And I make a save, fail a save. D6 damage. Six damage. Feeling of the pains. I take five more wounds. Now the chain cannon trying to tickle off the last three wounds. Fives to wound. Sixes are there. There's two sixes. Two sixes. You're not going to kill it. 
it is the closest eligible target because you can't see the paladin. So this will be four up saves with cover. A five up feel no pain. My Helbrin is down to two wounds remaining, but not out of the fight yet. Right, so we're back to the tyrant and you're splitting between three targets again. Because it worked last time. It didn't work last it, time. It, but we've got to believe. Well, this time it's definitely going to work. So the big gun, what's it called? The Volcano Lance. Uh, yeah, Brimstone Volcano Lance. It's going at the Paladin. I'm rotating for that because yeah. it's D6 plus 8 damage. The other blast gun, which you finally don't need to overcook because I've got two wounds, is shooting that way. Shooting backwards. And then all the ones with not blast hit in Crusader. Yes. This is going to work. Yes. You have to believe. Right. Right. So we'll use the big gun first. Okay. We'll start with the big gun. So yes. D3 shots, four. Three shots. Nice. So okay. That. But you're hitting on fours. fours. Two hits. Twice. Strength. Strength 20. Three still wound. Come on. They both. <gasps> It's Weird. happening. Minus five AP. I have well four up. Rotate iron shields. Fail them, fail them, fail them. Ooh. And make one fail one. It would be really sad if I command point reroll one of You've these. You've got like it? twenty of them. I know. So I'm going to command point reroll. Look at that. It didn't. Nothing. Nothing happened. Sorry. It's just. It's fine. It's fine. The shots get deflected by the skillful piloting of my pilot. What? What? It was skillful. Edit. 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 <laughs> Ectoplasma decimator. Right, behind him. Swirling. D6 yes. plus three. We have, oh, that's okay, eight shots. You're not overcooking there. No. Okay, fours to hit. Oh, look at that, you only dropped one. It's the fives to wound that is the tricky part. And you get one, one. That's, that's wound. That's enough, it's two damage, minus two AP. I make a six. Damn it. No damage course. <laughs> <laughs> okay, where are we going next? Uh, yeah, the shield things. Yeah, yes, yeah, 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 okay. Okay, so we've got the... Fours to hit with them. Yeah. Uh, There's one. Yes, okay. Fours and I don't get a save. That's it. I don't get a save. save. So D6 plus one. Okay. Uh, that's four, four damage, damage in total. Feeling of the pains. Uh, I only take one wound. <laughs> 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 oh, my... Oh... Yeah, right, shield, the thing on top, the cannon, the twin link one. Uh, that has to go backwards, because it's blast. Right. So no, it's... that one on top isn't blast. Yeah, the twin desecrated cannon, so it's blast. Is it? It's blast. Oh, so it's going back at the yeah. thing. It's just, yeah. Have you done the melters yet? No, should we do the melters first? Should we do the melters? Let's do the melters first, we have two melters. Okay. Hit on force. Right, one of them hits. One of them hits. Five to wound, twin linked. And twin. Okay, dice. different dice. Because these have been no, no right. right. And then the cannon over your shoulder. D six shots, four six. Six shots. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, it's you know, everybody's saying that my dice roll is amazing and it's on fours. Yes. Three hits. Three hits. Three hits. Still a chance. Five's to wound. I mean two, two wounds. Two. That could do it. No AP though. If I fail all the things. So threes, I pass them all. And that's the end of the shooting phase. Did you actually? You wounded that once. That's that's what happened there. It's amazing. That amazing was... shooting. Yeah. Best, uh, best dice rolling ever. Okay. I, I, I'm, if people want to hire me yes. at events to roll their dice, yes, you can do. Might hire you to roll my opponent's dice for me. That's <laughs> uh, the end of Chaos Knights turn four. And let's go on. No, no. What? No, I've got a charge and what? I've got a combat. We've got the, oh yes, the combat. So I'm going to charge, charge and yes. it's obviously, it's 12 inches. So, okay. So uh, it's going to be two sixes. Yeah. No, that's it's a fail. And then we're over here, defenders fight first. Yeah, you punch me. I'm going to kick you on fours. One kick. Reroll. Need a yeah. five. Oh yeah. Um, that one doesn't wound. Here's my reroll. And that hits and doesn't wound. Okay. You kick me back on fives though, because you're so injured. You kick me in the shins once. once. Fives to wound. You it wound me in the shins once. It is minus one. I fail to save. Two damage. And you do more damage to me kicking me in the <laughs> shins <laughs> than shooting me with melters at point blank range. Right, here we are after the Imperial Knight's movement phase and something horrible happened. What it is, is I failed my battle shock on this knight and I failed my battle shock on that knight and it's turn five which means even if I kill the tyrant, I won't score that objective because my OC is zero. And the Crusader is stood on one as well. So my OC is zero. 
So if I don't kill your tyrant, strangely enough, he'll actually score the objective below there. So these two can't score at all. So I've got two things that can score down here. So I had to run forward with my Knight Valiant. So he's ran forward to get onto that objective, OC10, we're good. The Knight Paladin didn't run. He just moved round and he's not gonna shoot either because I don't wanna kill the thing. I wanna charge the thing because that gets me onto that objective. And then I'll be on two. And then it's D3 for each objectives at the end of the game. And, well, if you've got one, mm, it's still anyone's game. I'm saying there's a chance. Let's start off over here by killing Before the tower. What, what, I'm what? Remember that, that, that strat last time? Yes. Sold power for yes. You. I'm doing it again. Okay. Do you do it on both of the injured things here or just one? Uh, I think it's only on one. Okay. But we'll double check because I like lots of extra bits and pieces if we can get it. So we'll do one and then we'll check off camera. <laughs> So we're looking for force. Yes. Um, you don't get any force. So we don't have to look off camera. These dice will be available on eBay at the end of this battle report. <laughs> Actually, Check out King. What? they'll be in Winter's bin. Right. So you can come and just come and fish them out of his bin and you can keep them. Yes. Don't even need to pay for them. Can I shoot you now? You can shoot me now. Okay, the armiga is trying to... Mm, I think I'm going to start off with the... Yes, the Crusader needs to shoot you first. And we will put the blast guns. Can I see that other one over there? I mean, that's pretty much perfectly blocked off from this little verbal dude down here. Badger King's telling me that was completely planned. Of tactical genius. Tactical genius. So all the guns that are not blast shooting into the tyrant point blank range. Storm spear rocket. Things. Now I'm not shooting that one. I know it's pointing in the uh, but I want to charge that one. No, shoot it. I'm not shooting that one. I need to charge it to get onto that objective. Storm spears, hits, and then I got the reroll. Hits three times. Fives to wound with a reroll. One wound. One four up sable. Death on the tyrant. It's alive. Gatling cannon. Brr. 18 shots, I only hit four times. My dice roll has been terrible this game. <laughs> I don't wound. <laughs> right, the stubber did nothing. Now I'm going to shoot you in the back with a Helverin. Melter gun in melter range. Hits. Wounds on a five. That's a wound. Five up and vulnerable save. No. You've CP, got... got to spend it. Yes, or death. That no, help minimum three damage, Dead. kills your tyrant. Now you're going to roll a six to blow up. No, I'm not. No, it's where is it? It's a four. You don't blow up. I take it down. So I killed a thing. Now we need to make the charge because we're not shooting with... Uh, I could... Ah, uh, look, it could shoot through to this one. We'll shoot to that one. Adding six to this. Rapid fire battling, battling, battling cannon. And um, there's five ones. My dash one's been terrible. What's uh, <laughs> the wound? With a reroll. Uh, minus one, but plus one. So those are four three up saves on Helverin over here. War Dog over here. Um, that is six damage. It's on three remaining, but it's not dead. Stubbers. Hits twice. Doesn't wound. That's the end of my shooting phase. So we need to charge. And I think it's an eight from my paladin into Brigand. I need this to happen because right now I'm only on one objective and you've got two engines left. And that's a 10. Right, you've got four wings left. I'm going to spend one of my bajillion CPs over there to tank shock you to start off. So impact hits on the charge and I don't need, even need to re no. raise my chainsword. I run it down I don't and it doesn't burn. And at the end of Imperial Knights, turn five, there is one enemy war dog left on the battle grid. These two are battle shocked. These two are holding on to objectives. In Chaos Knights, turn five, this fella's going to need to take a battle shock test. Or you can spend a CP and he passes as we go to Chaos Knights, turn five. So at the very end of this battle, it looks like this. No shots fired. You were thinking about moving around there to steal this one and shoot that in the back. But if it blew up, and hit you and killed you, then you wouldn't have anything at all. So at the end of the day, I'm on two, you're on one, and each of these is worth D3. 
three each. And I feel like we should all roll your dice. Can I roll your dice? Well, oh, 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 can I touch your dice? Because you, look, I, you want to, you want to, you want to try this. There you go. Do you want one of the blue ones? They normally roll quite well. well hang, so of, hang on. So if I roll a blue one, yeah, and you roll two chaos dice, okay, we'll see if we tempt the face. Well, I'll roll one first. Got him. Or do you want to roll one first? I'll roll one first. You get so a four. Two. Now, there's a world in which you win. If I roll ones and twos on both of these, no, it's a draw. Sorry, draw. it's a draw. Is on your dice, dice, or is it me? Is it a skill issue? Because <laughs> <laughs> it's in the wrist. It's in the wrist. You do that, look. And yeah. I have five points to your two points. It is a victory for truth, justice, and the imperial way. And this is the way the world ends. Considering the dice roll, your gods have forsaken you, the fact that you've still got an engine left, stood on an objective. It's nothing short of miraculous, I yeah. think we could say. Uh, how was it for you? That was good fun. It was tremendous fun. I mean, Knights Against Knights is always brilliant. They're yes. beautiful models to play with. Such good um, such good fun. Um, yeah, dice rolling. Yeah. Dire. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what do you think of the scenario for Knights as well, like just score at the end? I think it allows Knights to do knightly things. You're not like running off to contain a thing or do a it, thing. It just doesn't knights feel just... like a knight would be doing an action. That it just doesn't, does it? feels a bit weird. Um, so yeah, I think, I think it's one of those things with uh, 10th edition. Is certain armies just don't play well with a deck. Yeah. And certain armies are brilliant with a deck. And yes. Knights are one of those armies that... The deck just doesn't feel right. An open war deck is desperately needed for Tenth to make that work. These kind of narrative -y, um, you know, make up your missions yeah. yourself, they definitely feel better. An open war deck or a maelstrom of war deck, something for casual players, things like that. Um, yeah, knights, when you add one to an army, they're fine. Have you done that, just chucking it into your Chaos Forces? We did, you and I both did that. We did that one with Sir Thousand Sons versus uh, the Death Guard, and that just, it does make it a lot more interesting. It does, uh, but normally the knights don't survive more than two turns when you've just got one knight, that's the thing, but uh, because everyone picks on them. But in be, this man, it'd be nice if um, when we get the night codex, yes, so where you can add is it twenty five percent of demons or something to a chaos list. It'd be nice if they did that for knights and, and chaos knights that you could add maybe you know a couple of war, three war dogs and a big knight into a list as a big support on the back of it. That'd be that'd be really nice. To but play. You, you can you do add a knight and three war. What you mean, both a yes. knight and oh, uh, yeah, yeah, no, I completely agree. I think, uh, because at the moment it's just one big one or three little ones. I reckon when it comes to knights as an ally detachment, it would be nice to have up to half of your army knights Definitely. and up to half of your army other things because it just adds so much flavor, adds so much thing. I, I don't know if competitively that's a good thing or not, it doesn't feel instinctively to be that competitive to me, so I don't think it'll break the game, it'll just allow us to play with our big toys more because I love knights they look so good and they play really well um they play like big stomping things your tyrant did work not your tyrant the other one no it was the tyrant at the did end I get he, it right? he kicked he stayed around towards the end he, so he couldn't shoot for toffee <laughs> but he weathered the storm he weathered the storm didn't go down attracted all the firepower that I had so that guy's a legend but in the end a victory for the Knights of the Forge. And we do hope you enjoyed that battle report. Happy walking.